Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Discord two factor authentication plugin. And you can see in chat, it forces you to authenticate through Discord to be allowed to play on the server. And this will add an extra layer of protection, stop people from coming on, using someone else's account, causing grief or havoc or whatever. It's a really well made plugin and we are going to show you how to set it up with Discord. So here we are on the Spigot page and what we're going to do first is create a bot. Now you need to click this link here to create a new application. This will take you to Discord. And what we're going to do is click new application up at the top and we are going to give it a name. So let's just call it Server Miner Tutorial. I made one earlier. So here we are. So the first thing we want to do is go over to the left to the bot and we actually want to create a bot. So click add bot. Yes, I do. And that's going to create a bot. Now, when you scroll down and go to privilege gateway intents and go to server member intent, and this needs to be ticked on. Make sure you save that. And then we can go up here and click reveal token. And we're going to copy that. That's going to be very important for later. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and go to our plugins folder, go to the discord two factor authentication folder, go into the config file. And then in here we have our bot token and just replace your token here with the token that we just copied and pasted. There we go. So it's going to be a massive long token, really complicated. Just paste it in. And then while we're in the config file, we can have a look at various other things. So you have a 60 second countdown to authorize your account. Once you actually join the server, you could obviously increase that if you wanted to. Um, if you try five times and fail, you will get a 20 minute temp ban. Obviously, you could change this for your server. The code length is going to be six, so there's six numbers. You could change this as well if you wanted to. Scroll down, we've got a section on logs. So, do you want to keep logs? Cancelled events. So, these are all the events you cannot do unless you are authorized. So, now we can go ahead and save that. So, the next thing we need to do is go back to general information and this application ID, go ahead and copy that go back to the spigot page and we need to click on this link here and all we need to do is hit control V to paste it in and this will authorize our bot to our server so go ahead and select your server I just created one for this tutorial and there is my discord account so I'm signed in and I'm gonna authorize it and I'm a human last time I checked and you can see in my bottom right we now have a brand new bot so let's open up discord so what we've got here is the discord bot over here as you can see and quite a useful feature if we go into user settings go down to advanced make sure developer mode is active so the reason for that is you can just right click your name and copy ID which is how you're going to authorize yourself once you join the server so that is how you would create a bot and set it up with your server we are now going to go back into Minecraft and see how we can use it. So here we are in our Minecraft server. The first thing we need to do is actually authorize ourselves. So go ahead and do this command, discord 2FA, add to verify list. We are going to then add our Minecraft account name, so LT Jim. Then we're gonna head over to discord, right click my username or whoever, and click copy ID. Go back into Minecraft, hit paste. It'll be a long series of numbers, hit enter. And that is going to add us to the verify list. And there is our ID linked to our username. So if I were to disconnect now, join back in the server, you can see what has happened. So it says, hey, you must be authenticated to connect. We've sent you a code. Please check your Discord direct messages, blah, blah, blah. You have 60 seconds, 50 seconds. So maybe increase the time a little bit um, so people have time to actually get it. We need to type forward slash auth. And we're running out of time here so go to your private messages you can see um, I've done one prior and all we need to do is just copy this six digit number go back to Minecraft hit enter and there we go so we have authenticated myself proving it is actually me on my account trying to join the server and that will help protect your players and your server from people who are up to no good. So here we are back on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.7 to 1.16. If we scroll down, we've got all of the other commands like listing all the verified players and enable and disabling it. Then you've got the permissions to use this command. And actually there's no permission for the authentication command, which would make sense. So if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page. But if you need a server to host it, on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.